Hi, it's Akina. I hope to hear from you. Not heard from you for a few days. Let me know what's going on. I'll try and perform the miracle for you, Hi, it. Um, just let me know what's going on. If you're planning to come, if you're not, just get, get in touch. And let me know you're okay. And yeah, got back to Bolton. Um, it would be nice to show you around Manchester. Uh, I do think about the level of opportunity I I can't keep repeating it every single day. Uh, my mum will probably indicate from the heavens you should have been long here. You'd have been having the time of your life. Um, depending on what God has in store, which will almost be, no, it's God. <laughs> Uh, heaven on there, tired. Um, please do think about the level of opportunity you have now after what we did. Again, thanks to God for this beautiful miracle, this perfect creation of life. God is the greatest, no matter what. Hiding Krishna, hiding Krishna. I had rather any. I bow to your greatness, Hyatt, but God is infinite galaxies greater. Uh, thank you, God, for this perfect miracle, perfect creation, and hopefully, we're serving you well. I know in, in Hyatt's higher interest and my higher interest and you know, of your perfect creation, Miriam will, again, I say will, I do love her, <laughs> I want to marry her, but I would have to anyway, uh, if, again, as she chooses um, to, but just let me know, I get what's going on, I know you, I know you want to, um, of course, but it's just let me know what's going on, if there's been any changes, things change quick in this life, as you know, uh, in an instant you realise you're a human god, and a human goddess, and destined to be <laughs> in the most beautiful love, Oh, well, we'll see the most beautiful story of all time. Uh, H&M, inshallah, but do let me know. Uh, it is a setup for us. God, 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 God. has pulled a big one here. The biggest one of all time. The biggest shocker. Uh, I just keep on remembering my mum. She is witnessing personally, but uh, personally, again, I have other things. Okay, this is so high at the air. So the other reason for the rush is that we have some duties to do. I have to keep vows. Um, so I'm rushing for other personal reasons. We'll see what happens when you know we step out of reality. Uh, I know the thing it will happen when the time is right, but also personally, do think about yourself and myself. Um, yeah, get in touch. You know, I urge you to take the risk. My mum will. Uh, you know, she was higher than both of us. Lati uh, Kamik was higher than both of us. Um, she even then she needed guidance which was you know to get out of it stop wasting your lies um which was the direction i used to give to her regularly uh, having the courage to go against social norms these are the acts of courage in this life and the reality is you know it's for the higher benefit their benefit which people don't get there might be short-term suffering in the long term we can't get away with anything in this life uh, I mean, you know, if we're being abusive, it's not helping anyone. Um, none of the, you know, I'm standing in front of the mosque. <laughs> none of the Quranic texts, none of not the hadith, nothing points to staying in an abusive marriage. You know, people, you know, Prophet Muhammad was under spiritual guidance, you know, to marry 13 wives. Uh, as everyone knows, I, I know because I gave him the guidance. One of the wives was you. Um, he was under spiritual guidance to do the best he can. Uh, a lot of people are actively doing the worst they can for nothing, you know, for nothing. Uh, he was doing, you know, people say, there would be things said, yeah, you know, mirror and uh, But he, Prophet Muhammad was in their spiritual guidance um, to, again, whatever people ended up with. I say it like that, he was a bad man, he's a prophet. Um, whatever people thought his treatment in that life was of those women, it was still better than anything they would have. You know, people are realizing the level of treatment of women in this life. And again, if you're treating a goddess, you know, I don't think about it, but how you're being treated, I think it does genuinely, you know, it's not fake emotion. It genuinely does affect me. Um, I think, you know, why, why should somebody like you um, go through that in the name of, again, if it, was a, if it was in the name of some sacrifice in the name of God, fine. If it was some sacrifice in the name of Allah, that is fine. Allah is not telling anyone to stay in a bloody abusive marriage. Uh, you know, where does it say in any of those texts, stay in an abusive marriage in the name, you know, of Allah? It's absolute gibberish. Um, these things, again, at one point in time and space, I will debate Zakir Knight. I don't know what Zakir Knight's views are on that other point, but some people are absolutely stupid in this world. Um, and that is, you know, that, that people say oh, you're calling people stupid. Uh, you're not stupid it could only be looked at as a compassion term somebody's bloody 
life in the name in getting many places and it's false fathers you're not your father your fucking daughters are suffering in marriages and in the name of Allah you want to keep them in a marriage for protection of a false name you know he, he, this is not what the father does man uh, nowhere in the Quran does it say that you know divorce um, it was ultimately given as a final you know final if you can't be resolution you found out you know many people find out very quickly if they've been shoved into a marriage in the false name you know, it's absolutely bullshit. You know, false marriage, uh, false marriage is forbidden in Islam. Those people are in a lot of trouble at the end of this life. If if they know, you know, sometimes it works out, sometimes it's just, if you know your daughters are being abused, and you're not letting them get divorced for your name, you're in a lot of trouble at the end of this life. I can assure you, and that is not a threat. Uh, it is the reality. Uh, you you're ruling again. She's my daughter. No, she's God's daughter ultimately. Uh, don't come after me with knives, man. Um, I'm just passing on the messages. Uh, and then people say, you know, why am I suffering? You know, people don't like hearing it. Glenn Hoddle pointed out certain things that went public. And, you know, the media jump on him. He'd said several things before. That was right early in Mary's childhood. An indicator about not going public with these things. You know, what do you want me to tell you? I'm producing pigeons out there now. You can do these under scientific testing at one point. Do you want me to tell you I'm lying? <laughs> that people like this will go to heaven you know if they've done other good deeds they just need incredible good deeds but they're God's everyone's God's children <laughs> you know they're, they're not in mind of mirroring sons these spiritual laws but people should use some common sense sometimes that okay we go away Hayat I made this video for you my love but we go from Hayat because you know in 